Okay, welcome back to the seventh video on the Comrade Darren Gaming channel. Last week, my entire channel did really well. I gained 18 new subscribers since last Saturday, which is when I uploaded the previous video. This is a video of me reviewing the trailer for the newest season of Rainbow Six Siege, which is Operation Steel Waves. And this video goes over what will be coming in the newest season of Rainbow Six Siege. Alright, so here's the first trailer. I think this is the Defender. Has some echo blast sort of things. And this is the attacker going down an elevator. Uh, it's quite hard to tell what the Defender's ability is, but the attacker looked like he could breach some like hard walls. True predator strikes out of necessity, not greed, and they protect what is theirs. Okay, she's protecting. There is no chasm too wide, no wall too thick that will stop me from bringing you home. All right, pause right here. No wall too thick sounds like a hard breacher. It also looks like Flash. It really looks like Flash with the helmet and everything. Yeah, let's continue. Yeah, steel waves. So the first, the attacker might be a hard breacher. So we are, we're gonna have the fourth hard breacher in Rainbow Six Siege, and we're moving on to the second trailer. So this is the second trailer. It goes straight into talking about the uh, operators. Operation Steel Wave is advancing on Rainbow Six Siege, bringing a new attacker named Ace, who throws sequentially exploding hard breach gadgets. Wait, that looked just like Hibana. It's like the size of the hole is around the size of a Hibana, one Hibana shot, and also throwable, throwable. So it's probably like almost the exact same as the Hibana, basically. It's, it creates small, medium, and large problems for defenders. The new defender, Melusi, deploys Banshee devices to hum angrily at any attackers in range and slow their movement speed. Oh, uh, so that was why the echo waves are in the first trailer, because it's like basically an echo, but you don't get disoriented, you get slowed down and everything, and it makes a loud noise, so. ...them some problems of their own. But if the sound you hear as you approach the objective is less of a hum and more of a beep, then you've tripped the new secondary gadget, the proximity alarm. A defender will be with you shortly. Oh, they actually teased this in the six invitationals 2020 this early, uh, earlier in the year. Their this season I think is house rework, and they talked about secondary gadget, and that is the secondary gadget proximity alarm basically. Take a quick second to subscribe to this channel, and let's see. Yes, subscribe to the Ubisoft YouTube channel and my channel as well, please. Oh, they're reworking house this season. No new map. This is still going to be a casual map, but house. Where are we going to play our 1v1s now? Everybody 1v1 on house, but now house is so much bigger. I think we're going to use a different house, a different map for um, 1v1. I don't know how that's going to work, but continue. Breaches come in threeches when Ace, the new two-speed Norwegian attacker, Okay, so he's Norwegian. Action. His Selma gadget can be thrown onto a breachable surface, hard or soft, where it will stick, deploy explosive arms, slide on down, and then... Boom. If there's space and a defender hasn't interfered, the Selma will go through the cycle two more times to create a positive... Oh, so that's why it's uh, so much more different than... Uh, Havana, he could has a potential of creating a bigger hole. Also, look at the new icons; they look so much better than these average icons. There's like two cards, and here's like an actual tree as an operator icon. Wonderful. Positively massive hole, but even if a Selma is stymied before it creates the full three boom opening, it can still create a new line of sight, a new opening for gadgets and utility, or a new entry point. 
It can also blow open an unreinforced hatch, but it'll take two to get through a reinforced one because the Selma doesn't do sequential explosions when deployed on a floor. Okay, okay that was different than the wall then. All right. I don't know why I paused, but let's move on again. Though you can stick it to pretty much any surface, a Selma will only activate if the surface is destructible. Fun okay, fact, those explosive arms will destroy any Defender gadget that's in their deployment area, which is another way that Ace can make a big impact without taking big risks. That's, that's pretty Selma nice. Selma canister is vulnerable to any damage, but because Selma explosions don't do much damage to operators, a Defender might want to wait for that second breach to spring a nasty surprise. Oh, nice. Other counters to Ace's Selma breaches include electricity from yep. Kaid or Bandit's gadgets. The usual hard counter. Or Jaeger's oh, well, my and Jaeger works. That's mute, nice. As long as the mute jammer remains in place. Take the jammer out and the Selma will automatically get back to business. That's pretty also, nice. Also, a defender with a sight line so the gadget can simply shoot it. So you'll want to use Ace's AK-12 assault rifle. If oh, that's a fuse. That's a fuse his assault M1014 rifle. His shotgun or his P9 sidearm to clear out any potential interference. Interference. Well, that's the new South African defender Malusi's middle name. Not literally, it's more that her Banshee gadget is designed with interference in mind. Deployable on vertical and horizontal surfaces, the Banshee emits a loud... Okay, so it could be placed anywhere. ...buzzing noise whenever an attacker steps into its substantial radius and line of sight. In addition to alerting anyone nearby of the attacker's presence, the Banshee also slows down the attacker's movement, and the effect gets more powerful the closer they get to the device. Now that is not the place you want to be. Alright, that guy is pretty big and vulnerable. It's pretty obvious, and it could just be taken out with one bullet and one melee, I guess. Especially if Malusi is nearby with her T5 SMG, Super 90 shotgun, or... T5, I think, is the one Legion have, if I'm not wrong. Super 90 is a frost shotgun. RG15 sidearm. Did I mention that's she's the Ella a fast three speed. defender against slowed attackers? Is she could be a good roamer then. That Malusi wants, whether she's protecting the objective or she could be a good offsite. roamer. Note that her Banshee device only slows attacker movement, not their aim. So bold attackers might step into the Banshee radius on purpose to lure Malusi Ooh. out for a duel. Otherwise, yep. they'll need to take another route, or find a way to destroy the Banshee. Explosives work, so Ash, Sophia, and Kali are strong counters to Malusi's influence. Nice. A melee hit is effective too, but you'll want the assistance of Twitch or Thatcher to temporarily turn the thing off so you can get close, or you can just- Oh, Twitch doesn't actually shoot it and break it like ADS and everything else. It just temporarily disabled. That's new. Just ask Finca for a boost. But a Banshee combines so well with other Defender gadgets that it might not be the only obstacle to contend with. Oh, Smokes, toxic some new meta. And Goyo's Vulcan shields both create hazards that attackers need to escape quickly. Something a Banshee won't let them do. That's some good meta. Rushes from speedy attackers, pushes from big shieldy boys, and sneaky flanks from the elusive Nook all make the Banshee hum with delight. Nice. Least, I think that's delight. It certainly sounds more content than the Defender's new secondary gadget, the Proximity Alarm. Oh. This thing sounds nervous, or maybe that's just the feeling that comes naturally. Mira has it, that's pretty nice. your position to any nearby enemies. Whether it's tipping off roamers to an attacker's entry point, or alerting an anchor that someone's on their flank, all the Proximity Alarm needs is line of sight and an attacker... In that's a, a big radius, did you call. see that? That's a big radius. Now, some congratulations are in order because the lengthy renovations to the one and only house have been completed. It's still a casual map, not one where you'd host anything too fancy, but that upstairs workshop that's been under construction for over four years is now a lovely pink bedroom with a what? new walk-in closet, and the top of the front porch has been enclosed to create a new hallway over to the bathroom. Most of the rooms will be very familiar to frequent guests, yeah. but a substantial new two-story addition off the back adds rooms for music, entertainment, and play, as well as a new staircase and exterior balcony. 
I mean, I like the current house. The current house is pretty fun. No, don't close garage, bruh. Oh, okay. It's part of the garage is still open. Okay, that's nice. Also coming with Operation Steel Wave is a balancing tweak for Amaru. Aimed at making her Gara hook entry smoother and swifter. Plus, That's pretty she can nice. Now use her hook to bust up through unreinforced floor hatches, making for Oh, that's good. You could use it indoor. Very nice. To Amaru, the proximity alarm and the house map rework will be free for all players when Operation Steel Wave launches. Free DLC. The yeah. The operators Ace and Malusi will be exclusively available to Year 5 pass holders for the first week and after 7 days will be available for anyone to purchase with Renown or R6 credits. These operators actually sounds Keep pretty interesting. plans for Year 5 of Rainbow Six Siege, subscribe to this channel and visit us at news. Sus yes, subscribe to their channel and subscribe to my channel as well. Please. Thanks. I know this is an unusual video because I uploaded on a Monday instead of a weekend, but remember to like and subscribe and credit to Ubisoft for making this video possible.